this advantageous to the relationships and stuff to grind up the weapons and stuff in the lower level dungeons, Fuzzy? Because I didn't want to do them if it was like, you know, once you beat it, you're not getting any XP or anything. I didn't want to waste my time. But if it's beneficial for the lower level weapons, like the ones we're get that are brand new, literally level one, I don't want to die constantly in the new dungeons with them, you know? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, are you planning on doing criminal things in the next 30 days? Or is it like a just in case something happens and you're like, oh, fuck. I feel like you would keep that forever, right? <laughs> I love... And the South Pole just to prove Flat Earthers wrong. That gives me a boner. That's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna burp. Maybe. I'll take a high weapon into La Rosa. Sorry, boo. We'll take Miss Daggy Dags. Went back to the mall, ran with it. Cool, we'll do that with the lower level weapons then, yeah. The lower ones are actually already so leveled up just from talking to them, it's crazy. Well. But Here David thinks I'm too good, and that's why. I don't know. I don't know if there's validity in that. I don't feel like I'm that good, but I do play a lot of roguelites. <laughs> I love them. They're a good genre. Ooh, I missed a bad guy. Come back, friendo. <laughs> Money. And trash. Always search the trash cans for your boba, kids. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! How dare you? Rude. Glue. Don't sniff it, kids. Thank you, Fuzzy. There are some games that I played like that where it's like once you beat the main stuff, you never get any XP from that like level ever again. So it's pointless to go back into them. But it doesn't like explicitly tell you that, and it can be very annoying. Let's go, little cultist. I should have put on a club outfit for the club. I didn't even think about that. That would have been smart, Katie. Next time. Once we die. So, Coven, honestly, the vast majority of people we've met so far can turn into weapons, but it seems like it's a personal choice to become a weapon person. I don't know if you're born that way. And that one dude we talked to, uh, Eric, the blonde guy, that I'm pretty sure is the creep creepo that came and stalked us and got all weird, he is racist against weapon people. He thinks they're less than. He thinks they're like shit. Um, he he has a sword shop that only sells pure steel or whatever. Um, but the rest of the people we've dated, like everyone we've dated thus far, is literally, it's like a werewolf, but they're a were sword. I'm not kidding. We've had moments in the game where you're out like doing your other stuff, not the battling fun stuff. And someone, like there, there was a moment where we were with, was it Sunder? And the dialogue in the, on the screen literally said, like, a sword saunters across the dance floor to you and you you embrace or some shit like that. Like, I oh, I forgot. You're right. I forgot. I need to try to figure out what a fake wall is in this level. You're right. Thank you, Lena. We did liquidate last time. Access. What's that one? Oh, secrets. Hold on. Let's go beat everything first. It's a little shaky, but it's it's fun regardless. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Oh, God. That's a lot of lasers. Critical! Critical! Critities, or whatever. Titicritties? Critibitties. Critititties? Heckin' yeah. Yeah, I don't think the game's really a lot about the lore, but I do try to figure it out. We've given up, like, if we find a new weapon, you'll just find the weapon. Usually you don't see the person first. I've given up trying to guess, like, what's their, what what kind of person or what kind of weapon it's going to be, because I am literally never right, ever. Ever. Always wrong, 100%. Even chat, we are all so hard wrong. I don't, to this day, I don't understand why the weapons are who they are, but sure. The dagger kind of fits the chick, because she likes to do illegal things. Um, but other than that... Any false wall. Hmm. I haven't. Oh, I haven't seen a wall that like looks different. But I don't know. Maybe it's that glass one. I didn't hit that one. <laughs> nope. We'll find one eventually. There's got to be in a club. It's probably like a coke den. And this is the shitty part where you have to date them in the dungeon. Now, what do we have here? What would you would you like to offer a gift? I don't know if I have anything you want. Makeup? Mm. 
fucking A. It isn't a choice. Okay, it is not a choice. Are they so they're born that way? Man, I could have swore at the beginning we caught some conversation where you can choose to become a weapon person if you want to. Or some shit like that, but I don't know. Oh, thank you, really. Huh? Wow, this bar has all the whiskeys. A girl could get used to this. She slides behind the bar, pours a double shot for herself, and raises an eyebrow at you. Sure, why not? Ha ha ha. Well, honestly, I could think of many reasons, but let's pretend we're drunken masters. Let's yeah. not. She pours you a drink and sips her own. Every muscle of her face relaxes in pleasure. Mmm, just kidding. Drunken masters are always hand to hand. We're always hand to hand. No sharp edges. Probably smart, bitch. If you cannot judge a sword by its sheath, my fucking god. <laughs> it's just too dangerous for stumbling around. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to hurt you after all. She becomes suddenly serious. Um... Unless I have to, that is, you know, to protect my secrets. Uh... <laughs> okay. She winks and saunters away from the bar, leaving her empty glass. Secrets! Bitches got secrets! I knew I didn't get a good jive from her from the first moment. My dogs wouldn't like her, I know that. Fuck. I haven't seen Drunken Master in a really, really long time. It's a good one, though. Change weapon. You creep me out. I don't want to play with you anymore. Hmm. There's our axe. Actually, these are pretty wide levels. Let's try Jonah. And check walls. Thank you. Nope. What is... That just goes back up. Ooh. Hello, friends. Jonah, hit harder, you dumb whore. Uh-oh, music. Music is bad! Apparently. I don't understand why, but it is. Ooh, secrets. J liquid. I still just liquid. Just liquid. Just liquid. Oh, <gasps> I did forget the secret under the vending machine. Thank you. We'll have to look for another one. Fuck. I hate when I find them at the beginning of the level, because I do often forget them. My attention span ain't long. It's the worst. Ball sack. At least I know what to do now. It's not... You don't want to do the first option. The first option just gives you, like, liquid. Liquidate literally gives you liquid. <laughs> Which I guess, if you want liquid... Bitch. Okay. The jump is nice. Oh, <gasps> I found it! But I didn't see what the fucking wall looked like! God damn it! <gasps> Bitch farts! No! Not today. We found a broken wall, motherfucker. What is this? Danger, danger, high voltage. Fuck, I didn't see what the wall looked like, but I guess we're going in anyways. I'm assuming broken. Purple uppers with dark bottoms. Okay, so like it's aged or some shit. Oh, that's special. Cool. Glue. Did I drink it? That was a drink sound, y'all. Fuck, that pisses me off. Oh, well, at least we found one. At least. Just these? It had to have looked different. Metal vent like this? Like all of these look like that? So you basically have to check every wall? Because that's insane. There has to be a key to it. I'm gonna get in trouble for just busting up their fucking club. I need health. Uh oh. <gasps> health! Shit balls. Go that way, you dumb hooer! Fuck me sideways. Or... Me too. We'll have to look next time. Now I know what room it is. It's usually in the, uh, relatively the same spot. I gotta look for it. I know it's in the vent. I know it's around those those walls. At least. I can't believe I hate it without seeing it though. That's... One. <laughs> it's not Barker Clock. No. Time to shush your silly mouth, dog. God damn it, everyone's so needy. That was close. Yes, oh, my fucking cousin. Summer's almost over. Can't believe it went so quickly. Wait, what? You forgot? You're only here for the summer. That apartment's lease is almost up. You have to fight. You have a flight home soon, remember now? Twas a good summer. Awesome. That was the whole point, right? Ooh, I don't know. I think you had a different point. Wait, anyways, I have some news. You're probably busy, but Eric's been acting even weirder than usual. Plus, I went by his shop the other night. 
and there was weird lights and sounds inside. I think maybe he's up to something. Definitely is up to something. He's a creepy, creepy sword arm thing. I'm thinking we go over and just gather intel. You up for it? Fucking A, yeah. So many... I don't think we're actually going anywhere. Dude, I, there's no way it can be timed. That'd be insane. There's no fucking way. Um, meet me outside the weapons shop when it's dark. Dude. I'm nervous. What are we gonna find? What is he? I'm, I'm nervous and excited. Excite nervous. Nervous. Nope, none of that made sense. No, I would hope not. That would be really lame. Um, I guess we don't... I just go to the sword shop. I'm just looking, making sure there's nothing else. But I think it's just go to the sword shop. Why, Katie? Wrong corner, wrong corner. <gasps> danger, danger. I'm not dating you in any... Nope, never gonna happen. We're doing it. Guys. It's time to get sneaky as fuck. Cheers, Viana. Hold on. I have to sneak at you. Stranger Dater, help. <laughs> the weapon shop is locked, but there's lights on inside. Psst. Psst. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck a dick. <gasps> Raving Visionary just gifted five subs in the channel. That was very sneaky of you. Thank you. Saragnon, Saragnog, I don't fucking know, Cranfu, Fracture Risk, Slipsist, and Zandivnia, Divya. Go forth and be consensual in all the ways. Hail the Dank Lord. We have to be sneaky, we're hunting bunny wabbits. You are being very sneaky. Thank you, I really like my hair too. Thank you. You look around. You don't see anyone. Over here. <gasps> you spot Jesse hiding behind a car, jerking off. You duck into a shadow and join him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Shh. He's coming out. <coughs> I'm coming out. I got the world to know. Got a little show. <laughs> that made my butt cheeks jiggle. You hear the shop door open and take a peek, sis. Okay, so I was close. Uh -oh. oh my god, stop it, Lizzie. <laughs> you see Eric and his friend conferring. Uh. Repeat your orders once more. I don't want any mistakes this time. Oh my god, is he gonna speak out loud to us? Yeah, that's Snackman. He tried to hurt me. He has a sword embedded in his arm. <sighs> no. Um, Eric says, No, no killing. Come on, focus. I'm glad I double checked. <laughs> Absolutely. A cookie for you. What kind of cookies do you like? Macaroon? No. No, no. What about Oreos? Oh, this isn't going to work after all, is it? I love... I love... Yes, I know you love me. I created you. It's only natural. <laughs> I love... Oh! 
Well, that's unacceptable. I made you to obey me, and I don't want you to hurt anyone. Lies. Lies. Silence. Hmm. I guess. I mean, everyone has thoughts, but I don't actually want to hurt anyone. Lies. Lies. Ugh. Uh, fine, come back inside so I can fix you. You're in no state for a mission. Mm. They're gonna fuck. Someone's sucking a dick. I don't know who it is, but it's happening. The stranger hisses and turns to look straight at you. <laughs> Mass immune? Should we know who that is? Mass immune inside now. Mass immune smiles widely at you, staring openly. <laughs> Eric follows its gaze. His eyes widen. Oh. <gasps> Mass immune's weapon? No shit. I didn't know that. That'll be interesting. Katie and Jesse, what are you doing here? Uh... <laughs> yes, stand by Mass immune. That sounds like a great idea. Do you think Snackman has a snack PP or not? Nah? Is Eric that much of a freak? I mean, snacks have clits. So, who am I to say? You're on the right thought process. Ah, uh, hey, Eric, we just, uh, we happen to be in the neighborhood. It was Jesse's idea. You've been weird. You made this thing? You made this thing! His name is Moss Immune, but yes, he's been a work in progress. Aren't we all? Ugh. He has some flaws in his design and some serious problems. <sighs> Don't we all? Stop saying that. Now, as it happens, I could use your help. I put in a lot of effort gathering the materials and smithing him. But now I think it's time to deactivate Masamune. Why? He's become unruly, and I think it's time to iterate. Masamune version 2. Hmm. Do you know Dr. Frankenstein learned his lesson the first time around? Genius takes time. I have a smithing technique that'll make me rich here. Hmm. I knew there'd be kinks to work out in the design, but I thought they'd be the sexy kind of kinks. What the fuck we called it? Shut up. We've called it. Every time we want to be wrong, we're not wrong, and it hurts. Metamucil has some kick-ass Christmas hair. I agree, Metamucil definitely has some cool hair. There's even a bead up in there. Like, Metamucil accessorized is all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what Coven said was, uh, the sword is the... Moss immune. They're named after a legendary mythical soul-eating blade. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm glad I'm glad you're here to explain that, because I wouldn't have known. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. Sorry, old boy. Eric pats the monster's shoulder awkwardly. The katana creature continues staring at you hungrily, shrugging away Eric's hand. Uh... So now you want us to kill it or him? The thing's attention snaps to Eric. <laughs> No, no, my precious. Ah. Uh, Ixnay on the ill K. <laughs> Come on now. Mossimune. Oh. Oh no. Danger, danger. Uh, Mossimune slashes at Eric, slicing open his arm and chest, exposing flesh beneath. Hot. Ah. Eric shrieks and faints as Mossimune melts into a nearby shadow. Jesse dials. Nine. Rin, rin. Yeah, yeah, yes. There's an emergency. We need an ambulance. Five, four, two. Tybalt Lane. Tybalt Lane. Hmm. Help staunch bleeding. Chase monster, bitch. You take a single single step after Moss Immune and stop frozen. You remember you don't have a weapon. I could be a weapon. A frustrated curse comes to your lips, but you swallow with a familiar feeling of helplessness. I'm dying. I can feel it. My life force slipping away. Nobody cares. I give my weapon shop to you, Katie. Take good care of it. Remember me. No. no, thank you. I don't want that. 
Dude, you're gonna be fine. Stop the dramatics. No. You don't know that. Maybe I'll be dead any second. <clears throat> then how will you feel? Is his soul sucked by the blade now? I wonder if he had one. An ambulance pulls up. Remember me? No, thank you. Remember who? Who was that guy? A paramedic ushers him into the ambulance and drives away. Well, that could have gone better. At least we found something out. The katana creature's on the loose, though. We better be careful until it's found. Bitch, why are you smiling with your hands in your pockets? Hmm. I'd rather unhelp. Same. Why did Eric want to watch you anyway? He's a stalker? Ugh, I guess he is, isn't he? Jeez, disturbing. Amazing how everyone in the town knows he's a creepy-ass stalker and dangerous, but no one does nothing about it. Anything about it? English is hard. Well, you don't have to interact with him anymore. He went way over the line. The music got intense. Keep yourself safe, okay? And I will too. Don't come near me. Except the dunge, I guess. That's just work. What? Are you gonna be okay at home alone? I'm so sorry I introduced you to that guy. You should fucking should be. At least you have really good locks on the door. I paid top dollar. But I can come stay on the couch just in case if it helps you sleep. No. No need. See ya. All right then, talk to you later, cuz. Peace. Die in pieces. You head home. You feel your heart leaping up into your throat, thudding, urgent. You lock the door firmly and then double check and lock it again to make sure. Ugh. I take my bra off, not my hair. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling scared as hell. Your head feels cloudy, foggy, with thoughts that leap ahead of you faster than you can catch them. You saw Eric get attacked. Who's Eric? What would Katana do next? What is he capable of? No answer comes to mind, only questions. You putter around and waste time until the clock says you really, really should try to sleep. You lie down reluctantly, rub one out, bracing yourself for hours of tossing and turning. You take a few deep breaths, curling up into yourself. Eventually, you fall into the darkness of deep sleep. Hmm, in the- oh! This isn't okay. It's not okay. What's happening here? In the morning, you find Jesse anxiously scrolling on his phone. Sick. Dude, raving. If they weren't there next to each other, I would be wondering. <gasps> Lena, I'm so sorry. My cousin broke in and is just watching me sleep. And maybe taking pictures of me sleeping. I don't know. Jesse is not a weapon that we're aware of. Hey, cuz, sorry. I let myself in. There's a bit of an emergency. You might want to sit down. Oh, you're already sitting. Good. I'm in fucking bed. Um, so nobody's answering their phone. Isaac, Sunder, Valeria, nobody. All my weapon friends are weirdly silent this morning. Oh, are they dead? Yeah, he's a tool. Yep. What does that mean? It's it is early. Fuck. Uh, er, no, you slept in late, cuz it's way past time I usually see them online. That's creepy. This is bad weird. What if what if Katana got to all of them? They're calling him Katana, but wasn't he called something else that was a different kind of sword? Hmm. Fuck. Jesse jumps at a knock at the door. Pfft. What the fuck was that? Who is it? Uh... Don't worry, the lock will hold. I got a lifetime guarantee from the locksmith. It didn't fucking keep you out, Masamune. Yeah, why are they calling it a katana? Is Masamune the name? Masamune. Is Masamune, hoping I'm saying that right now. Masamune. There's a Mune. Masamune, is that the name of a katana? Or are they fucking it up now? What up, CJ Love? I'm curious if that's just the name of a legendary legendary katana or... Oh, it is. So it's a type of katana. Okay, so what Coven says is it's like a katana but longer. Interesting. 
Masamune is a formal sword name like Excalibur. Masamune is the style. You can have katana or shorter Masamunes. That's really cool. I didn't know that. Thank you for the education. I had no idea. Katanas are really badass. Jesse looks through the peephole. Oh, phew. It's just Samantha. Just Samantha. She's probably a little weirded out, too. I'll be right back. He unbolts the door and steps out. You quickly lock the door after them. Uh, look out the fucking peephole. You see an empty stairwell. Weird, where'd Jesse go? You realize, despite all of your striving, you're alone. Everyone is gone. Maybe forever. Oh no. How does one fix this? You remember all the times you pushed someone away or made someone made yourself less likable. You laughed at the wrong times. You asked the wrong questions. You were too quiet or too loud. Are you fucking with me? To fix it, you'd have to become a totally different person. Is that even possible? I hate this. I'm being attacked. You hear a hissing and jump to realize Katana is standing next to you with a smirk. I can fix this! You get him a glass of water. You grow in power and strength as you decide this is a fight worth having! A fight worth winning. Katana shrinks back from your newfound resolve. You rush to meet Katana and demand answers for your missing weapon, friends! Where are my lovers? He melts into darkness. You chase him for what feels like a long time until you're panting with exertion. <clears throat> you wake up with a trace of sweat beating on your back. Was it just a dream? Through a series of pinches, you determine the dream is over and you're really awake now, probably. <laughs> uh -huh. I agree, guys. You take a deep breath and feel a, ch a clarity thrill. Why? Why are we like this? It wasn't the time. It's not the time. Nor the place, no. Ebbs and bollocks. You bloody fuck. No one, no one respects your anger. There's dogs outside howling and barking. That's why. The neighbor dogs. I can hear the neighbor dogs fucking lit up. I don't know why. <laughs> Dear Lil. <laughs> they sound so funny. Hold on. <laughs> Happy 420. <laughs> Her weird sounds when she talks to herself. Are we done? You over it? You cool? They say you're a smart breed, but you never learn that it's actually nothing. So I don't know about that. You know what's super funny? Uh, they've probably howled maybe five times in their entire life. One of the times was at Rod's house, and he actually got a video of it. But just the other day, literally like two days ago, we should probably take a break anyways. Let them shit or something. Is it break time? Probably. Games, I lose all sense of time passing, and it's really terrible. And all of a sudden, ads will run, and then I feel really bad. Sometimes. Some of y'all deserve that shit, though. It is. Fucking always. Games, man. They're the best. Um, The other day, it was after stream. I paused it in a weird spot. I apologize. We We just We just had creepy times. Back into the mode. You take a deep breath and feel a clarity chill through, th a clarity thrill through you. A clarity thrill through you? That's a lot. From scalp to fing. Why? Can we not today? You're very, very annoying. No. Mm -mm. No, go lay down. Go. Go. You're being neurotic. Um, you take a deep breath and feel a clarity thrill through you from scalp to fingertips. Uh-uh, get. 
not if you're going to be a barking piece of shit today. You take another deep breath. Whenever, whatever that happen, whatever happens, you're ready. Jesus Christ, she just went behind me again. My dogs are such neurotic fools. Sometimes, sometimes they're great. Sometimes, mm, I don't know. I don't know. God damn, he's annoying. We got to do something about this monster on the loose, especially before you fly home. Why does he keep warning me it's going to be the end of summer? It feels he's making me feel pressured, and I hate it. You know what is the worst thing to do when someone's dating? To pressure them. Oh my god, Lena Marie, I probably would have set my computer on fire. No! You annoy me. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. If all you talk about is me leaving, we're not having this conversation anymore. Get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't... Those ear-licking ones, or any of the ear-tickling ones, like, I want to die. If someone tries to breathe in my ear, I would punch them in the face. That is so ticklish slash nasty. Oh, no. I don't want to talk to you, cousin. You annoy me. I just want to go battle things where it's fun. <laughs> Back to La Rosa. Wait, wait. I wanted to change my outfit. That's my bad. I can't be a, a cult member in a fucking club. My gateway into ASMR was tapping vids because I grew up loving the sound of heels. Oh, my God. <gasps> I take it back. Uh, you know what I think the first ASMR I ever heard was? But I don't even think ASMR was being used as a regular term yet. It was people using keyboards, new keys. Before I ever saw people, like, crunching food up close. It was, like, um, you know, like, different key cap, key caps and the actuators in keyboards. People do, a like, I don't think they were meaning to at the time, but people really liked the videos. We didn't have a word for it, but they would do videos where they'd put that mic right up on their keyboard and just delicately type... And be like, this is that type of key. This is this type of key. It wasn't just for the sounds. It wasn't just someone typing. It was literally so you could hear different keys that were happening. So you could go buy your own. Now they make them where it's like pretty hands typing for three hours. Not really as much my thing. But that, yeah. Some mechanical keyboards make a very delicately light sound that is very pleasing. Mm-hmm. Nope. Um, club attire. I mean, a suit is pretty dang. That is not club. Oh, I could. This is pretty. Oh, my God. Am I Papa? I'm Papa. Stop it. Did I just make myself into the into ghost? Oops. I did it again. Became fucking ghost. Again. JB has done several videos of mechanical keyboard testings and speed typing. Because she's got crazy, crazy word per minute. 140. That's insane. I used to have a decent words per minute thing, but I fucking hate typing. It's probably terrible now. Mm. You find Sawyer enjoying the afternoon sun. Pocket crouches behind them. Ah, such a peaceful, lovely day. And at least three days left before I have to turn into any other pa before I have to turn into any other papers. Phew. Pocket tiptoes closer, ears twitching. Mm. Maybe I should just take a nap or text Katie. Oh my god. Yes, that's needy. Would, you, would that be too needy? You're twelve. You're twelve. Pocket crouches down, prepared to pounce. Observe. Pocket leaps and bats at Sawyer's ear, making them jump up in panic. What? Huh? Pocket, I thought we were friends. Is that what friends do? Pocket starts innocently cleaning his face. Uh. Sawyer sighs, then notices you, making them smile. Hi. Oh, uh, hey, Katie. I was just hanging out with my buddy, Pocket. But I guess cat buddies, uh, hit each other. At least their claws weren't out, I guess. I should find lunch before I get back to studying. What do you say, Pocket? Want to go find some free samples at the Cat Cafe? Pocket responds with a purr. Bye. Have a good day, Katie. See you later, I hope. I, I taught myself to type because I took French in high school instead of, computer instead of a computer class, and Wally hated to listen to me peck. Lord. My colleagues hate when I have mechanical keyboard. I need stealth keys. Those little low to frame tab keys that are super quiet. You know, there are mechanical keys these days that are quiet. I have them. Seriously, the, um, there's many different types that still feel nice, but don't like make a super annoying sound to other people. Um, the ones I have, I want to say they're Kale S Speed Coppers are the quiet ones. And, but they still have a really nice, like, tactile, funky feel. 
when I type. But they, because literally when I had a clacky keyboard, it, no matter how far away my mic was, it would pick it up. And it was just fucking annoying to me. And But it still gives me that nice, like, satisfying um, feeling. No, they do not clackety clack. There's two, so there's two terms. It's 